he's gonna be in here for now. Of course, it's the bathtub and we can have our axolotl in the bathtub, which is perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to iCraft MC's World. In this episode of our amazing Let's Play, we're going to make the final room for our house. Of course, we already have basically every room we'd need. You know, an office, a kitchen, a living room, etc. Uh, what we do not have is a bathroom, and of course, uh, every house should have that. So, uh, before we do that, however, and I do have a very good design planned, we're going to make today's banner of the day. Uh, today's banner is also going to need the Fang Charge pattern, which is actually made with an enchanted golden apple and a piece of paper. We're going to start with a light blue banner and yellow dye in the thing pattern shape. Next, we're going to go on to a brown bend, which is this shape right here. Then, we're going to go on to a light blue rondel, which is this shape right here. Then, we're going to go on to a light blue chief, which is this shape right here. Then, we're going to go on to a light blue per pale inverted, which is this pattern right here. And we're going to end off with one more light blue chief, which is this pattern right here. And you can see what it makes. It makes a banana banner. I thought this is so cool because obviously bananas, uh, bananas are a super nice uh, fruit. And it just matches with a lot of our other fruit banners, such as our watermelon banner, uh, which I don't actually know where that is right now. But it is a super cool banner. So we'll place that down. Is that completely full, this uh, pillar here? It looks like it's time for a new pillar. So we will do this one. There's our super cool banana banner. And that's awesome. So, we have ourselves a bunch of supplies, and I'll show you guys what I've done so far. Actually, I'll show you guys a little bit down here, uh, just a little. Uh, over here, you might see here there's a bit of a difference here. It looks kind of nicer, actually. I like this bit of a uh, downturn here. This is actually really vital, and I'll show you why. Uh, when we go up here, uh, right through these doors here, and I have not marked it out yet. I will do that in a second, and I just remembered I forgot to put our thing charge away, so I will put that away right now. Uh, so, heading back here. We have ourselves the, what's going to be anyway, the bathroom. Obviously, for now, this would make a very nice bathroom. Uh, but we're going to give ourselves, uh, make ourselves a very, very nice bathroom. So we have all the supplies we need in here and in here. Uh, I just copied these from some banner patterns I've already done. Uh, so that is nothing new. Uh, one thing we're going to do before we start construction, though, is make ourselves some towel banners, uh, which are really, really easy to make. And I'll show you guys right now. This isn't really a big tutorial, but here we go. So basically, just have any banner with uh, lines like this of whatever color you want. And I've just found that does tend to resemble uh, things like beach towels or just kind of artistic looking towels. To me, those colors are very beach looking colors. So I think that works super well for what we're doing. Uh, so we're going to use those for things like our towel rack and stuff like that. So we're going to have a bit of a nap here, and now we're, we're, uh, we've woken up here, we're going to head over here, and we have ourselves what's going to make our bathroom. So the plan is basically going to have uh, a bit of a tile floor with diorite, uh, the bathtub out of quartz, and some other interesting uh, odds and ends around here. We're going to start by uh, placing some of these uh, polished diorite stairs there and also getting ourselves diorite stairs uh, all in here. This is going to make us kind of a cool floor that's a little bit raised up, but overall shouldn't matter too much for all the things we're making. Uh, then down here, we're just going to have the diorite uh, the same, but it'll be in the corner, and this will be uh, where the... Uh, the uh, Toilet. I don't know why I couldn't remember the word, but the toilet will have the toilet in here, of course, and that's good. Uh, so then also what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves some of these red carpets and put them in here as sort of like a bath mat kind of idea, although it's not really next to the uh, bathtub. It just kind of fills up the space uh, nicely. Uh, so then uh, just for again, the wall part of this, we're basically going to grab ourselves a whole bunch of quartz and uh, all these kinds of things like this. Uh, so this part of it is quite interesting. What we're actually going to do is we're going to grab ourselves uh, these and have the entire area be raised up one block. Uh, we're not going to fill the whole thing in just yet. We'll fill it in uh, something like this. Now, what we're actually going to do, and this is I thought was a really good idea, is we're going to use a uh, quartz for the wall and we're going to have it be double purposed. So basically, we're going to break this. And you can see on the other side, what do we have here? Well, we have ourselves our armor stands, so that wouldn't really work. Uh, but it actually will with this plan. So what we're going to do is we're going to break all of this. And uh, you may think, oh, well, this will look like there's a bathroom on the other end. But it won't because what we're going to do is we're going to have ourselves blocks of quartz in here. Uh, these are going to be, of course, part of the uh, bathtub. As you know, bathtubs are usually white or a nice white color like that. 
And basically, that is going to, on the other side, actually look really good. I'll go over here for uh, just about 10 seconds to show you guys, because I think it actually looks really good. And you can see there, there's a really cool white background. This is what we've done in the the uh, uh, treasure room of our house. I'm surprised this copper is already oxidizing, but that is uh, A-OK -okay for me. And I love how we have the enchanted golden apple here. Probably should put some more signs in here that might be good eventually for stuff like zombie shovels, etc., where they have to be marked out to know uh, exactly why they're so special. Uh, so, uh, we're not going to do that today though, what we're going to do is we're going to be making ourselves uh, this bathtub, so we're going to go around like this and make ourselves a nice kind of uh, edge, I just want to get stuck in here, so we're going to go like this, and already I think that's looking like an amazing bathtub, uh, we're going to get ourselves some quartz slabs and put them down here like this, uh, we could even have a very deep bathtub if we really wanted to down here, but I do not think that is at all necessary uh, since bathtubs are usually not very deep. So we'll just go like this, and this little empty space here shouldn't be a big issue. So we'll go around like that. So that's perfect. Uh, now we do have ourselves two water buckets. We're going to make ourselves an infinite water source in the tub itself, uh, like this, and like this. I think that'll work out. Uh, maybe not. What we can do is we can go like this and then grab off of there. And that works just as well, because of course, infinite water sources are simply made by having, uh, oh, that doesn't go there, uh, by having two blocks of water, uh, one block apart from each other, so that we can have an infinite water source in the middle. So there's that, I think that's looking like an awesome tub already. And uh, basically, of course, every tub needs temperature controls because you don't want your water to be too hot or too cold when you're pouring into the tub or possibly readjusting it to have some more uh, hot or cold water, I suppose. So we're going to add ourselves a nice little system for that. We're going to have a nice uh, little bit of a tap there going like that. And then we're going to have ourselves uh, item frames going up here with uh, red and blue. And we're going to have ourselves two levers or levers like this. I guess these are levers, yeah, levers like that. So we can have hot water or cold water that would uh, apparently be coming out of here. Actually, we can make it even more realistic by putting that there and then getting ourselves a glass, bl uh, a light uh blue uh, glass pane below that I just thought of that that'd be really cool we'll see if that works but if not it's always interesting to at least see if it would work because I think it would actually so we'll go over here and we'll uh, see if we have that we do have light blue stained glass we just have to grab six uh, that's five there we go and we'll make uh, that because I think that would be super super cool to have so all right here we go there's 16 of those we uh, only need one but 16 is fine uh, so we'll go up here and let's do that so let's see how that would look I think that would look pretty good something like that uh, that does not look good okay that's fine well it's always a good to try out idea so we'll just uh, raise uh, lower this down again anyway that looks like a really good sink or a bath uh, tub of course it's not a sink uh, to me and like we can kind of uh, use that like that so I think it looks, works uh, really really well uh, so of course a bathtub's doing a couple other things as well and we're going to kind of make this really cool but first we're going to make ourselves uh, some other vital parts of this bathroom so of course every bathroom has uh, th well, every bathroom has two things, but most of them have three things. Uh, the three things being a bathtub, a toilet, and a sink. So we're going to make ourselves that. We have uh, all these different materials here that should work very well. Uh, so I think we'll probably start with the uh, toilet, which of course will be made with a cauldron. Uh, we might just actually mine this up and uh, make this wall a bit thicker here. I don't think we need it like this. That should be good. Like that. That looks perfect. And we might... Uh, Actually, yeah, that looks really good. So we'll go like that, and we'll get ourselves uh, whatever else we need. I think we're good, actually. So we're going to have our cauldron in the corner like this. Um, yeah, that looks good, I think. Uh, maybe... No, I think that looks good. Uh, so we'll go like this, and we're going to get ourselves a lever uh, on the side like this. That'll be how we... Let me think. I guess the lever would be here. And then we'll put this here, and we can kind of open it like that. And then, what's super important, and this is so fun to do, is one of my favorite tricks, is grindstones as toilet paper. It works so well. There's our toilet paper. Uh, we could even make it a bit more realistic by putting it down. Uh, actually, probably work well, best right there, maybe. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we could go like that, maybe. Something like that. I think that looks good. Just having a toilet paper in the corner like that works well, so we can grab our toilet paper and all that. So uh, We do also have infinite water in the tub here, which is perfect. So we'll just go like this. And like this, then we have it full. Uh, and if I had some bottles, I could lower the water level, but I think it looks uh, pretty good. Oh, there's that. I want to be careful with that. So that's awesome. 
All right, so now the sink. So this is definitely important as well. Well, before we do that, actually, we'll probably work on some cool things around the bathtub because I think something I think you can do that makes uh, bathtubs very, very cool is to have some interesting features around them. So for instance, candles. Sometimes people like taking long baths with candles in the bathtub, and we may as well do that here. I think that would work pretty well. So uh, let's see what we can do here. We can probably have a bit of a scaffolding there. I mean, I think really overall um, it is uh, something that would look quite good. Also, the cool thing about candles uh, is that although they are on fire, they do not spread fire, which is awesome. So we can use this as a bit of a bit of a uh, what do you call these again? I, my brain is not working today. You call these tables. So there you go. There's tables, of course. So like this, I'd want to light the wall. That would be horrible. There's a nice candle there. There's a nice tall candle. I think what we'll do probably here is put a tall candle here, and also it provides light, but you don't really tell that. And then we can put like a bunch here so we can light them all like that and that looks super cool I love that a lot. That's looking so awesome. We get rid of that torch there. Maybe actually I wonder if we could put one of these on the edge. Uh, no, it doesn't look like we can. That's okay uh, Oh, we can actually waterlog them. That's very interesting. What if we could light them? No, of course not. All right That's looking awesome. Uh, that's yeah really working well So we're gonna go over here and also get ourselves a couple other vital features Which of course is going to center around the sink now I think our inventory is getting very full here So it's going to change that around I just remembered what I was going to do here I was going to have ourselves uh, this and then I was going to go like this and like this there we go We can just do that again and that works well. I wonder if we can put more than one. Oh, that's actually very Very interesting uh, putting more than one on there uh, that doesn't really work kind of works with two, but not really but it's interesting that that does uh, let you do that So there we go and uh, Thankfully because this is Minecraft not real life. This would not light our house on fire. So that's really good So we have like that and that's looking awesome We can even maybe put like a couple more candles here like maybe three just like a good amount So we can I can have that on either side. That's looking super awesome. So now for the sink uh, for the sink We're gonna do very very similar to what we have uh, for the rest of this, we'll just put the sink over here. I think this is a, a good place for a sink just because it's kind of in the right position. Uh, so the sink's pretty easy. We'll just go like this and like, uh, like this. Let's see if I can jump and do this. It's a bit tricky. And like this. There we go. You can kind of see there's the sink there. Of course, we're going to have some uh, bits under there, as there always is. Uh, and we'll just do some quartz slab or quartz blocks like this. I think that works decently well uh, it doesn't look best uh, maybe if we go like this actually and what we can do is we can raise the whole floor around here like that does that work pretty well yeah that works pretty well it might even work better if we get ourselves some of these stairs themselves like this and like this and wash our hands yeah yeah okay that's pretty good um or we could okay i have an idea what we'll do yeah so let's go like this i think this looks pretty good like that we'll just kind of uh, raise everything around here a little bit Actually, it doesn't look good in the corner there. Okay, so a bit of trial and error there, but that's good. So, awesome. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves our water again, and of course get water in there, because uh, what is a sink without water? So we're going to grab this and fill this in with water, which is looking super awesome. We're going to, of course, have our tap in the middle that will kind of give us an area to wash our hands, uh, and then we'll get ourselves some nice levers. In fact, I think, yeah, that'd look good, actually. One lever, uh, like maybe here. And then the top here and of course once we're done we have to dry our hands because you don't have wet hands or I guess in my case I kind of have paws but uh, wet hands like that so we'll go like this um, and go like that all right that's pretty good and we'll probably have another towel near the uh, bathroom uh, the um, toilet not the toilet my brain is not working today uh, the bathtub so there we go and uh, we'll even put another one of these around here just so we can have extra room. We have the toilet paper there, of course, and so you wash your hands. Um, we have a couple of cool features to put up, and we'll do that in a second, but it does look like it is time to go to sleep. So we're going to go to sleep, and in the morning, we're going to work more on our super cool looking bathroom. I think it is really shaping together uh, really well. And I'm hoping that once it's done, it'll be one of the best features in this entire house. And of course, I hope all the features in this house are some of the best features that we can really have. Every room have some super interesting and cool features. But I think this, uh, at least this um, bathtub over here has worked pretty well. So uh, we have a couple of things to put up here. And of course, we do have two more towels. So we want to put those around. I'm thinking these could almost like hang off the side like that. That's not half bad. No, I think that's pretty good. And we'll just put another one of these there. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of seems like a good arrangement. Overall, that seems pretty good. Okay, we could even put these maybe just hanging up in the air a little bit, like possibly something like that worked. Yeah, that's fine actually. Alright, that's looking good. 
let's see what else we have here to do so we have our item frames and we have these banners now something i've noticed uh, by looking at some pictures of bathrooms and things like this is that it seems like uh, bathrooms often tend to have things from the ocean there so i've got two of my favorite ocean banners uh, that i uh, have tutorials on and i decide to put them up here and here i think it looks really good and we might even do just to make it nice and complete as if these are kind of pictures on the wall and of course we'll have to uh, move this torch once again but not a big issue uh, is that uh, I think that uh, we'll put a clock right in the middle here like this because then you can kind of see how long you've been in the tub for possibly That's looking pretty good. I think that's actually a bit too even it kind of uh, sets it off a little bit So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this uh, one block over like this and we're gonna put this like that Just to have a kind of I'll put the one up higher up Actually, you wouldn't want to have it that close to the tub or we'd certainly uh, get cold in fact something like that I think that's really good so we have those nice pictures on the wall we have our nice uh, nice things here uh, it looks like this could definitely use some more light around here so that's awesome we'll just get some uh, nice lighting around here looking good anything else oh here's one other thing oftentimes bathrooms will have some small uh, little kind of unintrusive plants around so I think we'll definitely add some of those so we're gonna probably do here is just in, uh, add on to our sink here and what we're gonna add on is a little flower pot with a beautiful little uh, flowering azalea there I think looks like quite lovely really improves the area overall and you know we'll probably have a small little area right next to the toilet too maybe something like so we're sitting here maybe something like here and uh, we'll just do something like this like a nice little uh, table and we'll go like uh, one of these we'll go like this and we'll go like this and that's looking super awesome let's see if there's anything else we've forgotten we have our nice sink here i wonder if there's any way we could break this if there's anything on the other side that you can't make it you can't see we would be uh technically able to put something there let's see if that would work oh it would that's actually really really cool let's see if all three of these would work because if so it would definitely in complement okay it looks like it wouldn't that's okay uh there's always things that can make uh things better or worse but overall that's still looking pretty good uh, overall so that's awesome um let's see if there's anything else here we've left in place uh honestly i don't think there is so that's basically our bathroom finished oh, we could put a couple more candles around maybe around the uh, toilet here uh just like that and of course light them like this and let's see any more locations for candles we could possibly squeeze in because they're just so cool uh, no i think that's awesome all right there we go that's basically everything in here done let's see if we have all of our items put away here awesome so let's kind of see how this fits into everything and that should be super super cool oh yeah one more thing i brought nox level for a reason this he's going to be in here for now of course it's the bathtub and we can have our axolotl in the bathtub which is perfect uh something else i did want to do in this episode really quick before we're done is i wanted to add in a couple of these candles around because of course candles were added to minecraft and they make a beautiful addition to the game also i have a couple signs i need to put around as well and i may as well get some of these nice little menial tasks done so we're gonna get ourselves some signs we'll go over here see if we have any pre-made uh we do have six that's perfect so we're gonna see what we can do with those so i don't believe uh, let's see uh, the this is the nether portal room i believe it is so that means that we can get ourselves some nice uh things to say that so we'll go uh nether room i think that makes sense obviously we have a lot of nether things in there and i think it's always just nice to mark out rooms because you know it really just kind of makes things flow a bit better be a bit more coherent obviously there's not room for signs here but we have kind of a visual signs that uh, actually i think Gemma malakas made those for us a while ago i think this bathroom needs a small change on the table but uh for now it's looking pretty good too so uh, that's good. I think we just have to make some signs up here and we'll put a sign here that says uh, Bathroom, which is perfect. Uh, we don't have room for a sign over there. So that's okay um, And that's looking awesome. So there we go uh, And we're gonna also have those candles uh, around the house a little bit. So let's see what we can do here uh, I think a nice candle in fact We could probably just turn some of these things into places for candles like for instance this right here if We go like this and we go like this in fact these look a lot better colored oh these are already colored white that's okay um okay we can get some colored candles in there later possibly can i burn myself on top of these i cannot that's quite good to know i'll probably just move this actually and actually no i don't have too many candles because obviously uh we don't want tons and tons of candles um i think the kitchen would probably not have candles in it actually we would have candles these these would be candles absolutely these would be candles because every single uh fancy dining room has things like this and this kind of looks like i think it's called a candelabra where you have like candle holders that looks super super awesome there uh definitely making the house look better i don't want to actually light the house on fire like that so i'll just put it out 
Um, anything else? The office, possibly. Anything we could do in the office. Again, candles in the office? Nah, doesn't really make sense. So, we'll probably just keep that as is. Um, anything out here we could do with candles, possibly. Again, it doesn't really look like that's the case. But that's totally fine. So... Yeah, there we go. There is our amazing thing. We're going to take one more look at the bathroom because it's just so awesome. And we're going to see how that incorporates uh, with the rest of the house as it is. So here we go. There is a bathroom. We'll get rid of this crafting table in the middle of nowhere in here. All right, here we go. We can kind of come in here. We can see our towels. Uh, we can see our nice axolotl tank here. Um, nice candles around here, adding some atmosphere. This probably look really nice at night. Um, now, this is kind of breaching privacy, but if you actually look, the view you get from here uh, shouldn't. Uh, should be adequate for privacy. So if we take a look here, yeah, it is perfect. So you can actually you have to look up, right? So you can't see someone in the bathtub, and you certainly cannot see someone in the toilet, which is perfect. So that really does incorporate quite well. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of iCraft MC's World, uh, my let's play of us building this super cool bathroom in 1.17. Of course, we incorporated a couple items from that, like those azalea bushes. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to like uh, the video, make sure to comment on the video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to share this video with your friends. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!